Hello and welcome to GXG Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at different concepts of takeoff and landing in an aircraft such as VTOL, STOL and ATTOL. First, let's see what these terms stand for. What is VTOL, STOL and ATTOL. VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. STOL stands for Short Takeoff and Landing. ATTOL stands for Autonomous Taxi Takeoff and Landing. Before we see what these terms mean, let's understand how different forces are acting on a normal commercial aircraft in flight. The force acting in the forward direction is the thrust force. The force acting upward is the lift force. The force acting downward is the weight force and the force acting backward is the drag force. Now let's look at what is meant by vertical takeoff and landing. These are aircraft that can take off and land vertically. The best example of VTOL is rotary wing aircraft or helicopters that can take off and land vertically. A few fixed wing aircraft are also capable of taking off and landing vertically. These aircraft would require a very small flat surface to take off and land. Let's take a look at how the forces are acting on this VTOL aircraft. If we consider a vertical takeoff or landing sequence of a fixed wing aircraft, the thrust force is acting upward which is also providing the required lift on the aircraft. This is done by directing the jet exhaust downwards and by increasing or decreasing the thrust, the aircraft's height may be increased or decreased. The weight and the drag force will be acting downwards. For this aircraft to move forward, the jet exhaust is directed backward and the thrust starts to act in the forward direction. Now the lift force will be created by the wings which will act upward and the drag force will act backward. Some examples of VTOL fixed wing aircraft are the F-35 as shown here and the V-22 Osprey which also have the capability to hover just like a helicopter. Now let's look at STOL aircraft. For this aircraft, a very short runway or airstrip is required to take off or land. In this aircraft, the forces acting on the aircraft are same as that of a normal commercial aircraft. But there are some additional design factors that need to be considered. Aircraft that are capable of short takeoff and landing will have a larger wing when compared to other aircraft. This is to create more lift at lower speeds. Other aerodynamic characteristics on the wings are vortex generators, flaps, and slots, which are used to improve the lift generation for a quick takeoff. The engines that are used should have a large power to weight ratio. This is to create the required thrust force. These aircraft can be used on rough terrain where only a short airstrip can be built. Now we will look at ATTOL. 
This is a new concept that is being designed by Airbus for use in their commercial aircraft. These aircraft will be similar to other commercial aircraft but will have the ability to taxi, take off and land on its own. In the cockpit, the pilots are responsible for managing the aircraft and for decision making during critical times. The automatic taxi, takeoff and landing is done with the help of advanced image recognition technology which will determine the center line of the taxiway or the runway based on the markings and control the aircraft accordingly. This is done with the help of onboard cameras, radar and lidar which is light based detection and ranging. The information from these sources are sent to onboard computers which will process this information to steer the aircraft, increase or decrease the thrust or to stop the aircraft as required. So that's all for my video on the different concepts of takeoff and landing. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.